Hey guys, this is a follow-up from the Calculus Level 2 question 2C2 uh, from last year. I kind of realized um, after a few comments that I hadn't actually completed the question. Um, the question actually asked for um, the height of the cliff above the water. Um, sorry, see even now I'm doing it wrong. They actually asked for the maximum height, but what I actually found out was um, just the, um, the height of the cliff. Um, so I kind of just want to carry on with the rest of the question here um, because that would actually be incorrect what I had actually, well not incorrect I've just missed those details so I guess the first thing I've got to figure out is when does the diver actually um, uh, reach the maximum height so we have to think about it like this so let me just draw this diagram again so if we've got a cliff here and you've got the diver there so he's actually doing something like this so he's not just I guess this one here is incorrect draw drawing. So at some point, the velocity, um, he's gonna reach a velocity of zero before he, because along here, he's got a positive velocity and along here, he's got a negative velocity. So we actually gotta find out when his velocity is actually equal to zero. Um, so by doing this, we're gonna put zero is equal to uh, negative 9.8 T plus 2.8. So what we're going to get is uh, negative 2.8 is equal to negative 9.8 t and then t is equal to negative 2.8 divided by negative 9.8 so which actually gives us t of let me just work that out quickly so we'll have 2.8 uh, divided by 9.8 that's going to give us point 0 0.2857 whatnot but we're just going to put that as 0 0.29 seconds so what we're trying to do is we're trying to find out the height at 0 0.29 so we're going to go back to our um, s of t equation which is actually equal to we got negative 9.8 t squared over 2 plus 2.8 t plus 25.84 so with this one we've got s of 0 0.29 so what we need to do is we actually need to substitute um, 0 0.29 as our t value uh, 2.8 times 0 0.29 plus 25.84 so because i've actually got this as my answer i'm actually going to use the answer function here so i've got negative 9.29 Oh, let's just get rid of that. So negative 9.8 times answer squared divided by 2 uh, plus 2.8 times answer plus 25.84. So that actually gives us 26.24 as the um, maximum height the diver actually reached. So if we kind of go back to the marking schedule, you know, I think I kind of just skipped through that. I do apologize about that. So that is what you're getting your um, E2 for. And um, the height of time of maximum height. Yeah, so it looks like um, correct answer with some IMS. I'm not sure what the word IMS means in the schedule, but um, 26.24 is going to get you guys the um, two I think it c covers a T2, which is going to give you an E8. Yeah, apologies about the mistake and just kind of not reading the question fully. I uh, kind of re read that last part, um, the part that was highlighted in yellow, and decided to answer it. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video, and apologies again.